All right, so I feel like some of these these um, posts that I've been doing, I'm kind of rushing through them because they need to be need to be less than a minute, and I don't really like that. Uh, the reason I, I'm, I'm making them all less than a minute is because uh, I would like to post them on Instagram and YouTube and TikTok, and uh, YouTube shorts require a less than 60 seconds in order to make it a short. So. The good thing about having this thing that I'm doing here with this daily challenge and something that I'm doing for myself and not for like any other specific reason is that I can make any changes, any audibles um, whenever I want to. And so um, I'm being thoughtful about this. So today I'm going to it's going to be a little bit of a longer video and uh, I'm going to read these chords. So this is a song that I've learned certainly in the past, but I want to kind of walk through precisely how I would go about figuring out the inversions. Uh, for you guys. So I'm just going to read these four four chords, which are G minor, then E flat major seven, then F major, and then D minor. Okay. So we, we, we first want to start off uh, basically asking ourselves, what inversion do we want to, or how do we want to play this first chord, right? How do we want to play it? Do we want to play it in root? So right away, when I hear, because I know this song so well, I hear this and I'm like, okay, I don't, like the highest note being uh, D because it doesn't sound kind of like the actual song sound. So I want to, I want to like make a different configuration of this chord. So I want to take this G and I'm going to, I'm sorry, the D and move it one octave lower. When you go that direction, that means that you're turning this into second inversion, right? So I like second inversion of this. Now we may not know this, uh, even I didn't know this until I was like looking at this a little bit before turning on the record button, but um, we want to get better at this. We want to get better at seeing something like G minor and saying, okay, to go from G minor to E flat major seven, what we are doing is actually only adding one note to this chord. So we are actually adding a E flat to a G minor to create an E flat major seven. Interesting, right? So that, that little correlation there is something important for us to see over time. Um, similarly, let's let's take this a little bit of a step further. We should also know that there has to be a similar such relationship between every minor chord and some subsequent flat major seven chord, right? So looking at this, I'm like, okay, we're looking at G minor and then we're comparing that to essentially two, two steps lower, right? So G to E. So a G minor turns to a E flat, I'm sorry, well, to E, but it, it's the flat of that of that note, right? So this to E, but it's the flat of that, and it turns to the, a major seven of that chord. So let's look at something different. Let's look at C. So a C minor should turn to an A flat major seven, right? By just adding the A flat. So a uh, D minor should turn to a B flat major seven, does it? It doesn't because, <laughs> okay, because B is, B is a special, special scenario. So interestingly enough, you can't just go from a D to a B, I suppose. Let's actually look at this really quick. So we're going from, uh, we were going from a G to an E flat. So one, two, three, four half steps lower. C, we want one, two, three, four half steps lower. So D, we need to go one, two, three, three. I'm sorry, one, two, three, four. Oh, okay, no, never mind. I was playing a D major. So it does work all the time, right? It should be this D minor. So it'll always work that way. Cool. All right, discovery. We'll keep this in the video. All right, so here we go. So we are going from G minor. And so we have the thought here of. Do we need to, so we're playing it this way, second inversion, right? So do we need to work on our fingering here in order to, to add this E flat major on the, on the right hand? Well, sure, we can do that and we can play like a weird one, three, four situation to have our pointer ready to go here. We can do that, but alternatively, we can just say, well, why do we need this E flat in the mix if we can just play the E flat over here with the left hand and just keep our right hand identical? Adding one additional note with the right hand, if you're adding those same two notes with the left hand, is not going to make a big difference. Let me prove that to you right now in terms of sound. So if we're going from playing this versus playing this, they might have sounded 
identical to you, possibly, and they weren't identical. I was playing that with three E flats the first time, right? And then two E flats the second time, leaving this one out. So make your life a little bit easy, right? So we don't need that. So let's go. We have G minor, this, and then we go to F. Now F, let's see what F we want to use here. Do we want to use major? Again, I don't like this high situation here. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to do the same thing and bring that C lower so that it sounds a little bit better, cleaner, more accurate to the actual song. So, girl. Right? I like that better. Now, let's see what version of D minor we like better here. Or I think that sounds fine to me, right? Again. So girl, if they don't know you, and then we got to get ready right away back for the G minor. So girl, and make sure your fingering is correct. So correct meaning feels comfortable. That doesn't feel comfortable to me. So let's fix that a little bit. So one, two, three, how about like, how about this? One, two, four. So, and then go into this F. One, two, four is okay. If they don't know you, and then, so right there, that's comfortable to me, right? So going from, and then back up to, Tell them you're my girl, girl. And then that's basically it. So yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this style of video. I, I just, you know, I'm I'm experimenting and I wanna, I guess towards the end of each month, I'm thinking out loud. I think this might make sense. Towards the end of each month, it, it might be cool to, to just um, start figuring out what the next months are gonna look like. Perhaps February is going to be a little bit longer videos. Perhaps February is going to be, there was something else I had an idea for February. Oh yeah, certainly a different angle. I got some feedback about, hey, I, I like seeing you, Kevin, but I also wouldn't want to be able to see the keys a little bit better. Um, so that's something that I'm thinking about. Uh, just, you know, changing the angle. Like my thing was like, oh, I like this because you could see the background and everything. But okay, if I come up and come on an, a little bit more of an, of an angle, I think you'd be able to get more value out of these teaching videos, not air quotes, but actual teaching videos. All right. So that's the end of today's video. Um, and also, I guess if you guys are following along and you have specific songs that you'd like for me to do, um, get in touch with me somehow, send me a DM or email or text message. If you're cool enough to have my phone number. And, um, if I'm willing enough to learn a song that you recommend, uh, you might see it and I might give you a shout out. Um, Dre, you know who you are. I got your karaoke playlist. Uh, and so we'll start incorporating some of those. All right. I'm going to go and do something else right now. So I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Peace. Hey, what's up? Take these glasses off so I don't look like a freaking nerd. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, guys? All right. Um, so we are going to work on the Internet's Girl, which is a song that's like, girl. If they don't know your words, tell them you're my girl, girl. <laughs> and anything you want is yours. Do, 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 yep. 